Hi, Michael Coburn here from Guardian Wealth. This video is aimed at Irish business owners of age 45 plus who really are at a point in their lives whereby they're trying to figure out um, a couple of long-term issues in terms of making sure that they and their family never run out of cash for the rest of their lives and also trying to figure out how do they extract cash and value from their business uh, for the long term whilst paying the least amount of tax that is actually possible. This video is about five minutes long um, and hopefully I'll be able to show you various measures which should accumulate into over two million euros. So um, stay tuned, um, I do hope it'll be worth your while. If we take the example here for a second of a business owner on a salary of about 100,000 a year, um, so this is income now, they're paying themselves gross 100,000 a year, um, and let's say they have rental income as well of about 20,000 a year, so they have total income now of about 120,000 a year. Um, and at some point in time, they're gonna exit their business and that income is going to have to be replaced in some fashion. We've also to factor in um, income tax in all of this, um, uh, that level of salary, they're paying income tax of up to 52%, the rent they're paying 50% plus as well. Um, but income in the future, even if we take for example and assume that they're going to retain their rental income of 20 grand a year, and down the bottom here if we assume, let's say they're going to be entitled to the state pension of about 12 or 13,000 a year, there is still a big jump I suppose to bring it back up to the 120,000 mark. Um, there are ways and means of plugging these, this, this income gap in the future and really it's a function of company pensions getting cash out of the company, um, maximizing the profits in the company and then getting it out as well, um, and also making sure that they extract some value from the business long term, be it on the occasion of the transfer of shares to kids or the liquidation or the sale of the business. And just for the sake of argument, let's assume that they actually do have a company pension in place um, and it's, it's, it's the bones of a million euro plus and that's gonna give them 50 grand a year of income. Well, they still have the issue of the cash in the business, the profits in the business and the value of the business and making sure that they extract as much of that as possible while it's not paying um, high rates of tax here. So what are, what are the ways and means of actually doing that? Well, there are four main reliefs um, and attractive ways of getting cash out of, out of the business um, for the long term. The first one is retirement relief. So retirement relief allows a business owner to take up to 750,000 out of the business, be it on the sale or the liquidation, et cetera, et cetera, without paying any capital gains tax. So it's a really important relief, uh, provided it's structured correctly and you're ticking all the boxes to avail of it. There's also what's called entrepreneurial relief. And entrepreneurial relief is a, a it's not a 0%, but it's a 10% rate on up to a million euro, which is quite attractive as well. Um, making sure that, that you look after your pensions and that your pensions are funded adequately um, because there is the possibility of getting up to 200,000 euro tax free out of the pensions at a future point in time. And there's also what's called termination payments and termination payments are the possibility of 200,000 euro um, of a payment from, from the business on the occasion of the exit uh, of the business owner from the business. The important point to note here is if there are two people involved in the business, for example, husband and wife, well all of these reliefs are are doubled up if 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 um, the the spouse is working in the business and has a shareholding in the business and takes a number of other boxes as well. So if we have uh, the cash in the business and we're you know with these means here we're going to get the cash out of the business in, in the long term. Then between cash and the pensions, it's important that we get a decent rate of return on those cash and pensions to make sure that we're actually going to plug that income gap at a future point in time. Again, a uh, quick example of the importance of this. Well, if, you, if there are pension funds, let's say, in place of about 300,000 euro, for example, let's say there's cash in the company of 300,000 and there's another 100 grand um, uh, personal cash, notwithstanding the fact that you know, the aim would be to get the company cash out into the pension or held personally at a future point in time. But even for, it, for, for a second, if we look at uh, the cumulative value of these running at 700,000, well, if we could squeeze out eight or nine percent of an annual return on that, there's another the bones of another 60 grand a year of passive income, which will actually plug that income gap um, for the future. Um, is you know, 8-9% per annum possible over the long term? Yeah, um, if we look at uh, one of the investment funds that we would have advised our clients on, um, and this is a, a, an actual live investment fund running over the last five years, net of fees coming at about 9% per annum. So in the long term it is possible to, to, it is possible to actually get that, that job done. So the cumulative impact of all these measures, and I do appreciate it's, a, it's very much a thistle stop tour here for a second, but really the, the cumulative impact of all these measures and planning it correctly is knowing um, where your future income is going to come from and being able to identify that and understand it. Um, the cumulative tax saving on all of those measures in terms of retirement relief, 
entrepreneur, entrepreneurial relief, tax-free cash from lump sums and termination payments, the cumulative tax saving on those comes to about 1.6 million, assuming you benefited from all of them. Um, and again, if we're looking even at the example of 700,000 um, and getting a decent rate of return on that company cash, pension cash and personal cash, um, we get eight, nine percent, that's 63 grand a year. Even if you spread that out over a 10 year stretch, you're looking at 630,000 euros. So you add, up, you add these two, you're already up to 2.23 million. Uh, again, a whistle stop tour, but I suppose it's just to show you the importance of planning these things and doing it correctly. Um, and having somebody on your side, I suppose, who understands it and can look at everything with a, you know, a 10, 15, 20, 30 and 40 year, year view. This is the kind of work we've been doing um, with business owners all over Ireland for, uh, since about 2004. Um, if what we're talking about here, what you've seen here is of interest, uh, please, we really would love to talk to you just to see if we can um, shed any light on the opportunities that might be available um, for you and your family. And hopefully we look forward to talking to you in due course. Thank you very much for listening.